Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. And to be Daisy. And today, guys, we are going to be reacting to your videos of us. That's right, guys. I was, like, blown away when I typed in Molly and Daisy shorts on YouTube. You guys have made a ton of shorts videos. This one, like, this one got a ton of views. Seriously, what is it? It's us dancing. It's a happy family dance. All right, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see us dancing. What? We have unicorn horns. Okay. I look adorable. I, I'm, like, all unicorn out. Yeah, you're full on unicorn, Molly. Oh, my goodness. This is super adorable. Yeah, but let's see all of them, Molly. I want to see all of them. All right. Um, videos about me and Molly and Daisy. Uh, all right. Let, let's see. Let's see what they did. Oh, it's, it's kind of sideways, but that's okay. Oh, my gosh. I remember all of these videos. Yeah, me too. I remember filming all of these. Oh, look at us. Oh, we're so adorable. I think that this is so cool that you guys are making all these fan videos of us. You guys are the best, best fans in the world. Oh, here's another short. Oh, wow. They took a bunch of our thumbnails and like, um, whoa, old videos. Oh, some of our merchandise. Oh my guacamole. This is so cool. Look at all of this. What? I love this. Thanks so much for making this, Dora. Oh my gosh. Someone drew us, Molly. Wow. Look at us. We're all grown up in these photos, too. Um, all right. You are super talented. You're an amazing artist. Look at That looks just like me. Yeah, like, even like me in real life. Holy guacamole. Um, all right. So this is their, from their TikTok. Alvin and the Chipmunks fan number six. You rock. Here's one of just me um, jumping around. <laughs> I want to see this because I feel like this is going to be funny. Okay, um, it's a little blurry. I hope you guys can see it, but okay, I'm just jumping. I'm jumping, jumping, jumping. I'm jumping around. Okay, Molly, that's enough of you jumping around. The names are Molly and Daisy. Yeah, their names are Molly and Daisy because that's our names. <laughs> oh, they, look, they took video they were watching on their TV of our, our new ad. Well, actually, this is an older ad. Yeah, but we have a new intro coming out. If you guys haven't watched all of our channels this week, you should because we have a brand new animated intro and it's really adorable. Yeah, I worked really hard on it. I did too, Molly. Yeah, we all did. It came out really good. So if you guys haven't seen it, this is our old, um, our old intro for our uh, website, but we made a new intro too. I make this video because I love Molly and Daisy. Oh, Nicole. That's so nice of you. What? What? Look at how talented she is. That's cool. All right. I, li I like this short a whole lot. Okay, Nicole? You did a great job, and we're so glad you're our fan. Akala says, I love the part where Molly and Daisy are nice to each other. Well, that doesn't happen a lot, huh? Well, um, not that often. <laughs> oh, here's another from Michaela. Guys, these are like fan letters, and we used to get lots of fan letters back in the day. Um, but when we moved back to Pennsylvania, like we we didn't open up a new mailbox for that yet. So uh, this is so cool to see what you guys have made. Oh, there's when we went to Disney. Oh, that was such a cool episode. If you guys haven't seen that, oh, I was crying in that one. Guys, I just I love our fans. I think you're amazing. Maybe we should do a live with you guys and like play some games or something. I think that would be fun to do, like, on Friday nights or something. I did too, Molly. We should do that. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, okay. Oh, they're watching it on their TV. Whoa, we're, like, huge on their TV. I know, like, larger than life, right? Totally. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Guys, you guys watch us on your TV? Like, do you watch us on your phone too? Oh, I love watching.
watch a lot of YouTube on my iPad or my phone. Um, thanks, Swaggy L X V E R. This was such a cool shorts that you made. Molly, it's short, not shorts. Shorts are what you wear to the beach. What? They're called shorts. But you can say just short. All right, whatever. Obviously, I'm not an expert at shorts yet, but we should make some shorts. Agreed, Molly. We definitely should. Daisy being rude to Molly. Now, but why? Why is she being rude? Um, because she's Daisy. Molly, that's not true. I'm not rude just because. It's because you deserve it. That's why. Uh-huh. Sure I do. Sure. Oh, look at this one. Um, I think your name is Av Avi. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, but it said, I like Molly and Daisy. I'm clicking on this. I like Molly and Daisy. Aww. Oh, look, when we played Escape Uncle Joe's, the squid doll. Um, oh my gosh. She has so many of our different videos. But Molly, just a couple, but, um... Still, she, oh, she liked the bounce house video too. Oh, that was fun. The bounce house? Oh yeah. Wait, is is this supposed to be me? I don't know, Molly. Wait, where, where, where are you? I don't know. It's like, wait, that's a wiener dog. <laughs> Molly, this is my bestie gaming. I don't think this is supposed to be about you. Well, said like Molly, so maybe they named their dog after me. Maybe Molly, but I'm not sure. That's a cute dog, though. Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Ooh, our cheese escape. All right, Hannah, let's see what you did. Let's see what you did here. Guys, if you would like to be featured in a fan video, um, then, you know, just make a video and, and uh, maybe we'll find it and we can feature you because that would be amazing. Uh, Molly, I think you're about to get eaten by the giant rat. I hope not. I want to just eat the cheese. Give me all the cheese. <laughs> Hannah really liked this video, I guess. Ooh, she got um, 225 thumbs up. I'm giving her a thumbs up. Uh, I think I'm actually going to leave her a comment, too. It's been so long since you watched us. You should watch us more often. Molly. <laughs> I can't wait for her to see that. I think she's going to be so um, happy when she sees that I wrote on there. Yes, yeah, she probably will, Molly. Because she made this video for us. What? Oh, wow. It's like we're, we're drawn. Yeah, she made art of us, I think. That was amazing. Um, Her name is ham underscore star. And um, she just compiled a bunch of um our thumbnails together and some artwork and stuff. And it, it looks amazing. Thanks so much for that. It looks so cool. Oh, my gosh. Someone put cute cat ears on me. Okay. <laughs> Look at me. I'm adorable. All right, um, let's just give Daisy a little dance break here. The Life as Alex in Summer. I love your little video you made here. It's um, an amazing short. It really is. It really is. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. And thank you for being the best fans in the world. We love you guys. Yeah, we really do. Bye, guys. No, Daisy, I get the pink unicorn. You can have the blue one. Molly, it's time to wake up. You slept right through your alarm. Oh, uh, no. No, I can't go to school today, Mom. I, I, uh, I've got bird flu. Molly, no, you don't. You don't look sick at all. I can't go because I've got chicken pox. Molly, you don't even have a single spot. Get out of bed and come downstairs for breakfast right away. Uh, okay. Uh, who would have thought that school would have been every single day, Monday through Friday, for so many months? <sighs> who came up with that idea anyway? <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Did you fall down the stairs or something? What's happening? Oh, ma, I'm so sad, but I just got a call from the school. School is canceled. What? I didn't get a text or a call from the school. That's because they only send one call out per family. Otherwise, it just takes forever to call every student. Maddie, they would just text all the students in one mass text. They wouldn't call. Your lies are ridiculous. Molly, are you lying to me right now? 
No, I mean, I'm so sad school is canceled. She's lying. Molly, get your breakfast and get ready to get on the bus. Or else. Fine, cheapers. Mmm, breakfast pizza. Uh, Molly, I didn't make any breakfast pizza. Nah, this is just a leftover pizza from last week, but if you eat it for breakfast, then it becomes breakfast pizza. <laughs> oh, boy. I go good today with my and Daisy. Um, baby Kara, you're too little. You can't go to school. What? I went go cool. <laughs> oh, boy. This again. Mm, this pizza's delicious. I gotta go get dressed, though. Bye! I went go cool. I went go cool. I got backpack. I go go do. Um, baby Kara, you can't go to school yet. You're not old enough, honey. You're still just a little toddler. Yeah, baby Kara, besides, there's a lot of big kid stuff that happens like homework, math and science, riding the school bus. I want go cool. Oh, boy, it's going to be a long day. Okay, baby Kara, come on. Let's go change your diaper. Daisy, the bus is here. Molly, I'm standing right behind you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even hear you. You were like a sneaky ninja. Yeah, that's definitely me. Sneaky ninja. Um, well, you're more like a nerdy ninja, but you know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Ugh, I can't even get on the bus. What's wrong with me right now? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Brookhaven bus, why are you so hard to get on to? Good morning, students. Now, remember, keep our yeah. hands to ourselves, all that stuff. I can tell I go to school. I go to school. Hey. What's a little kid doing on the bus? This isn't for babies. I'm not baby. I toddler. I, I go in school like a big girl. Well, I don't. I can't believe there are any babies on this bus. This is total. Whoa! You that bad word. You said. Oh my gosh! A toddler just swore. <laughs> oh man, I think it might be a bad influence. Wait a minute. Wait. Why is my baby sis still here? Good question. Why are you here? I don't go to school like my big sisters. Um, you can't go to school because you're not five yet. And then you start kindergarten. You're not in middle school. Well, this is total. Be oh my gosh. Did you just say what I think you said? I think she did. Baby Kira, where'd you hear that word? I think it's a total. Oh my gosh, go to the principal's office right now! She'll call your mother and, and work this all out. Daisy, where's the rest of the class? They're still getting off the school bus. Oh my goodness, baby killer. You're gonna be grounded for life. Ah, oh, there's a student in my office already? School just started! Wait, I can't even see the student. Who is that? It's a baby! I got baby! I toddler! Why everybody call me a baby when I toddler? This is b Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Aren't you Laura Acker's daughter? I am not uh, Acker's daughter. Oh my gosh. I better call her on the phone right now. Mmm, this coffee's delicious. Finally, a moment of peace just to myself. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh no. I wonder who that could be. Hello, Miss Ackers. Is this you? Yes, this is Mrs. Acker. How can I help you? Well, um, this is the school calling. Uh, this is the principal. Oh, great. What did Molly do now? No, no, Molly didn't do anything. Well, yet yeah, anyway, the day is young. Well, what are you calling me for then? Did Daisy get another amazing grade in science class? No, it's about your other daughter. My other daughter? I don't have another daughter in school. You must be calling the wrong person. No, your littlest daughter, Kira. Oh, <laughs> what are you calling about her for? She's in my office. She's been saying... What? She didn't say that. She's right here. I, I just put her down for a nap. I'm just going to run into the room and look and make sure... Oh my gosh, she's not here. Oh, I am so sorry. She wanted to follow her big sisters to school today and apparently she succeeded. I feel like a terrible mom right now. 
Don't worry, Mrs. Acker. It happens more often than you think. I'll keep her here in my office until you can come pick her up. And you might want to tell her that she can't say uh, in school. All right, I don't know where she learned that word. It was, certainly wasn't from me. Maybe her father. Baby Kira, you still have a few years left to go before you, um, you know, come to school. Baby Kira, there you are. Oh my goodness, you're in so much trouble. I am one good school like a big girl like I go to school. Because, honey, you're not five years old yet. What, what this is? Oh my gosh, you are not allowed to say that, baby Kira. Where did you hear that? I like find this boy on your bus. He said a lot. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. My daughter was so naughty today. Oh, I was hoping you'd be more like Daisy instead of Molly. Well, I can see my work here is done, so, um, well, good luck. Thank you, Principal. Come on, baby Kira, it's time to go home. I'm not going, I stay here forever. Oh, I can tell that you're definitely going to be more like Molly. Oh. Just relaxing by my pool in my $3 million house. Where's Daisy? She's supposed to be bringing me lunch. How rude. She knows that I eat every day at 12 o'clock. Hey, Molly, what's up? I just got done with my Pilates class. That's nice, Daisy, but where is my lunch? Molly, what do I look like? Your butler? Please, why don't you call um Stapleton and ask him for a sandwich? He's our actual butler. Can't. Mom and Dad gave him the entire week off while they're in Hawaii on business. What? We have to deal with things ourselves? Are you serious right now? Totally. Isn't that rude? I don't wait on myself. That's what Stapleton is for. Ugh, our parents are so rude sometimes. I know, right? Uh, well, I'm going to get in the pool because it's like 90 today. It is so hot. Agreed, Molly. But I'm not in my swimsuit yet, so I'll be right back. Do you want to play Marco Polo? Yeah, in a minute, Molly. I have to do my hair perfectly for the pool. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have to look like a fashionista no matter where you are. Eh, Daisy, you took too long. Never mind. Uh, let's just go for a ride in my new car that Mom and Dad got me for my 16th birthday. They better buy me a brand new car for my 16th birthday. You already have a car. I know, but Molly, this one is so old. Daisy... This is almost a brand new sports car. Yeah, and I deserve a new one every year. Well, you do have a point. I mean, mom and dad can certainly afford it. Hmm, let me see. Where's my car? There's my car, right where I left it. Um, I better go change my clothes first, though. Hurry up, Molly. If we're going to go for a ride, I want to get going. Fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, I want to find something really cute to wear. La, 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 la. Oh, my designer clothes are so adorable. I just have to decide which one I want to wear. Oh, this is cute. I think I'm going to wear this, but I'm not sure. I also have this. Nah, that looks too boring. Oh, this is perfect. I love this outfit. Plus, it's super hot, so I'm not going to wear pants. Your new sports car is amazing, Molly. But remember, don't drive too fast. Why don't you... Mind your own business, Daisy. Oh, boy. You can't even drive good, Molly. Oh, you're running your new car into the guardrail. It's fine, Daisy. Ugh, why do they make this bridge so narrow? How am I supposed to ever back out of here? Maybe if you paid attention in driver's ed, this wouldn't be such a big deal for you. It's not a big deal, okay? You really are the worst driver ever. Finally, maybe now we can go have some fun since you decided to get out of the driveway. All right, I'm trying my best to drive good. Well, Molly, maybe you should slow down you're like all over the road molly seriously okay fine i'll go a little bit slower go a lot slower molly well i'm rich everybody should get out of the way of me well they can't move their buildings molly cheapos creepers no one's even out in town today that's because it is so hot molly no one wants to be out when it's 100 degrees that's totally true but you know what that means we don't have to follow the 15 mile an hour speed limit Are you serious molly that seems dangerous nah come on let Let's crank it up a notch. Molly, be careful, Molly! Ah! I'm pulling up on the scene now. Yes, it appears it's a car accident with two girls. Uh, be ready at the emergency room. I'll be bringing them in. Oh my gosh. 
This doesn't look good. Girls? Can you say anything? Girls, I'm a paramedic. I'm here to help you. Ah, where am I? I don't even know where I am right now. Oh my goodness. Everything's gonna be okay. Just, just hang on. Ah, I don't feel so good. What happened to me? Uh, am, am I at the back of an ambulance? I don't even know what just happened. Oh, I feel so strange. What's going on? Why are we riding somewhere? I don't know. Molly, I'm scared. I'm scared too, Daisy. Something really awful happened to us. I know. My head really hurts. Mine does too. And my arms and legs hurt too. Don't worry about a thing. I'm here to help you. And the doctor will take good care of you, okay? What happened to me? I, I don't know what happened. You were in a car accident. Wait, what? I know, it's a little scary, but it looks like you're going to be okay. Can my sister be in the same room with me? Sure, I'll leave you on the stretcher and I'll put your sister over here, okay? Yeah, uh, that sounds good. Ugh, this is crazy. I can't believe I was in a car accident. I'm coming, yes. I, I know they were in an accident. Yeah, we're prepared here at the hospital. Are they talking about me? Oh, this is scary. Hi there, I'm Dr. Smith. The paramedic tells me that she came on scene and found you laying by your car. It appears you were in a very bad accident. Yeah, she told me that. I have a really bad headache. Oh my gosh, well, let me take a look in your eyes and make sure everything looks okay. I'm here with the sister. She says her name is Daisy. She thinks. Daisy? Molly, I, I can't see anything. It's like everything is black. Um, Daisy, that's because your eyes are closed. Oh, yeah, that sort of makes sense. Both of you girls were in a very serious car accident. I'm gonna need an x-ray of both of your brains. My brain? Why did it fall out? Uh, not that I know of. I mean, since you're still talking and everything, it should still be inside your head, but there could be damage. Damage to my brain? Oh, my God. I might turn into a zombie. Follow me. Can you push your own wheelchair? Yeah, I'm okay. Where do I go? Take a left and go right into the x-ray. Okay, I I'm in here. Okay, now what I need you to do is go inside the machine, and we're going to do a quick x-ray of your brain. Now, can you tell me what your name is? Yeah, it's Molly. Okay, can you tell me what your sister's name is? Uh, of course, her name is... Wait, what's her name again? Oh, yeah, Daisy. Um, can you tell me where you live? Uh... Why don't I know where I live? Oh my gosh, it's exactly as I suspected. Your brain does have have some damage. What? Damage to my brain? Are you serious? I'm afraid so, Molly. Can you tell me who your parents are? What their phone numbers are? Wait, I have parents? I don't have parents. It's just me and Daisy. I'm sure you have parents. No, I don't think so. Wait a minute, maybe I do have parents. Why can I not remember my address or my parents or anything Anything that's happened to me other than my sister Daisy? It's called amnesia. It's when you get a bonk on your head and you really can't remember anything. A lot of times people have something that jars their memory though. So eventually your memories will come back. It's just, there's no telling when. But I don't even know where I live. <sighs> well, let's ask your sister. Maybe she knows. Okay, will my brain ever heal? Oh yes, your brain is healthy, so it should heal. Just no telling how long the amnesia will last. We need to get you in a bed relaxing. Okay. Hi, Daisy. I'm Dr. Smith. Hi, Dr. Smith. My head really hurts. I bet it does. You and your sister Molly took quite a bonk when you came out of the car. Were you guys wearing your seatbelts? Of course we were. That's just silly. Well, apparently, your car, well, it was not a very good one. Are you kidding? Did you see that car? It's a sports car. It's worth $150,000. Well, the seatbelts didn't seem very safe, since you were ejected from the car. Now, I have some short questions to ask you. Do you know where you live? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait a minute. No. I don't know where I live. Why don't I know where I live? Um, it's as I expected. You may have amnesia just like your sister. We'll have to take an x-ray to be sure. Do you know who your parents are? Uh, no. I don't remember anything except for the fact that Molly's my sister. Okay, well, let's get that x-ray. Why can't I remember anything? What's wrong with me? I can't remember anything! As I told you before, Molly, you have amnesia. Okay, well, I can actually remember that. I just don't like the answer. Uh, it's it's very common with head injuries. Well, not very common, but when you get a head in injury like you've had, it's pretty common. Oh, wow. 
This is the worst day of my life. I've heard that a lot. Why did you want to be a doctor if you have to hear that all the time? I ask myself that sometimes too, but the answer is, is I like helping people. And today, since I can't find anything else wrong with you and your sister, I'm going to be releasing you to the adoption center. What? The adoption center? Why? I'm sure we have a family. Well, since I can't get any contact information for you guys, it's just a temporary place for you to live until your parents find you and come forward for you. What if they never come forward for us? They will. All parents miss their kids, don't they? Yeah, I guess you're right. Now, I want you to take it easy. No swimming or running around too much. We have to let your brain heal. Yeah, I can't believe my brain is just broken right now. Not really broken, just needing rest and some healing. Now, you and your sisters take good care of yourself. Okay, can't believe I'm going to the adoption center. Crazy. Dizzy, can you believe this? The doctor says I have amnesia. Funny thing is, Molly, the doctor says I have amnesia too. Well, where do you think this adoption center is? I don't know, Molly, I'll Google it. I didn't even know this town. What is this? The doctor told me it's called Brook Haven. I think that's what he said. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get directions now. Okay, follow me, Molly. Good thing we remember each other, Daisy. We'd really be alone in the world. I know, Molly. That would be so sad if we couldn't remember each other. Well, at least we have each other. Ow! I ran into the window! The doctor said that's normal. Your bandits will be off for a while. Well, here it is, the adoption center. Better get comfy until our memories come back. This place is kind of gross. Yeah, why are we even staying here? This place isn't nice at all. Like, they have two toys and one bed, and it's for babies. Seriously, where am I supposed to sleep? I would prefer a five-star hotel. This upstairs has nowhere to sleep at all. This is terrible. Well, at least we have the internet. What are you Googling? Well, as soon as this ridiculously slow, cheap computer gets moving, I'm uh, Googling how long kids usually stay in adoption centers, because this place is totally not my style. Um, what's it say? Six years? Are you kidding me? No way. Well, maybe we'll remember who we are. Uh, 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 look up on Google how long it takes for, for someone to come out of amnesia. Sure, sure thing. Amnesia can last from months to years to forever. What? I'm not staying here forever. What are you, crazy? That's it, Daisy. We have no choice but to find some new parents. What about our old parents? Uh, I don't know who they even are. So I think we should take our chances getting adopted. You're probably right, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're finally adopting, Dan. I know. I just hope we can afford to feed them and everything. Of course we will. Um, with my three jobs and your four jobs, we should be fine. Besides, we're a family. We'll stick together. Yeah, you're right. We do all right. We always have a roof over our heads and food in our bellies. And we have love. That's all you really need. Exactly. Marley incoming. Look, there's some parents. Ooh, potential parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Oh, Molly, she's wearing some ripped clothes. Daisy, so aren't you. That's like in fashion now. Yeah, true. She's probably very in fashion. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, actually, no, I've had these pants for like 20 years. <laughs> They're just very comfortable. And well, I can't necessarily afford a lot of new clothes. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I think I used to go shopping all the time based upon the outfit I'm wearing. Me too. Something tells me, well, we're just awesomely fashionable. Yeah, exactly, Daisy. Oh, you guys are so cute. So, um, are you guys up for adoption? Uh, yeah, just today. Really? What happened to your last parents? Uh, you know, it's a long story, but we definitely need parents. Okay, well, I'm Laura. And I'm Dan. We're really nice people, and we were wondering, would you like us to adopt you? Absolutely. Let's get out of here. Have you seen this place? There's cobwebs. There's only one bed. Well, it looks pretty nice to me. It's terrible. Oh, this place is terrible. Let's go. Wait, is this your car? Surely this can't be your car. Yup, I've had it since I was 16. I do all the maintenance on it myself. Oh, so it's a vintage car. I guess that's pretty cool. Come on, Daisy. Molly, I forgot my purse. Duh. Okay, show us our new mansion. I bet it's got 10 bedrooms for us to choose from. And 70 bathrooms. Molly, that's just ridiculous. But you're probably right. 
boy. These people are probably awesome. Have tons of money and a huge mansion. Oh, man. The car's not working right. Uh, I thought you said you fixed it. This isn't a very good vintage car. Well, it's the only car we have. It'll be okay, Dan. Just put some more gas in it. I think the gas is leaking out. Oh, like I can afford to put gas in just for it to leak out onto the ground. I think they're pranking us right now, Molly. I don't think they're actually this poor. Yeah, well, I think that they're just trying to not spoil us. They'll learn real quick that we are spoiled. Exactly. Okay, we're off. Oh, look, a food truck. <laughs> How cool. Are we stopping for like a hamburger or something? Uh, no, this this is our house. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious, Dad. <laughs> So, how many of these food trucks do you own? How much does it make you a month? Uh, I, I don't own any food trucks. I'm a busboy at the restaurant. Well, that's one of my jobs. And I'm a waitress at the restaurant. Um, okay, but seriously? You live in here? Yeah, it's really nice when you go inside. It's a simple life, but we like it and we can afford it. Um, I'm not staying here. Uh, no, wait. Um, you need to buy us a mansion because this house is not where I'm going to live. But we can't afford a mansion. We can only afford this. Well, let's just go inside. Maybe it's like a mansion inside. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely not. Ooh, look at this. This is kind of cool. Where's this go? Ah, uh, I can't climb the ladder. Ah, uh, uh, why can't I climb the ladder? Because, Marty, you've never climbed a ladder before, so you can't even figure it out. Oh my gosh, you're right. Um, so... This is it? Where, where's the bedroom? I think that's the bedroom, Molly. We don't have to share a bed, do we? Yeah, we have to share a room, too, by the looks. The couch bowl's out, so your mom and I will stay there, and you girls can have the bedroom. This isn't a bedroom! It doesn't have four walls and a door! Well, uh, I could build one maybe next weekend when I can afford the supplies. Ah! This is my worst nightmare! I can't live here! Molly, I, I think we might have been rich before we had amnesia. I think you're right! I think this is gonna be, like, horrible! I'm not staying here! Oh, I'm really sorry we don't have a lot of money, but we promise to be kind to you and love you. We always have food and the roof doesn't leak. Well, if the roof doesn't leak, it must be great. Um, what would you guys like for dinner? I'm really good at cooking and cleaning up. That's my job. Yeah, I know. You're a bus boy. I remember. Maybe they have some Evian water. I'm so thirsty. What? Reese's and Coca-Cola? This stuff is horrible for you. Mm, I'm so hungry. I kind of don't care. Mm. Mighty pizza? Yuck. All we eat is caviar. Oh, I could never afford that. Besides, caviar is disgusting. She kind of has a point, Daisy. This pizza is delicious. Really, Mighty pizza? Try it for yourself. Oh, that's from Uncle Tony's down in the plaza. He makes the best pizza ever. Hmm. This isn't so bad. Ha. <sighs> Seriously, Molly? You've forgotten who you are already. No, not already. I've forgotten who I was since the accident. So I'm just trying to blend in. Hmm. This is delicious. Well, my head hurts. Oh, honey, are you okay? Yeah, Mom, I think I'll be okay, but I just need to, like, kick back and relax. Sure. Um, maybe I could turn on something funny on the computer. Wait. Where's the TV? Um, well, we could turn on the TV, but I only get a couple of channels because I don't have cable. You don't have cable? Okay, fine. Let's see what's on. I surely cannot stay here. This is going to be terrible. Hey, Daisy, you want a cheeseburger? No, we want to get out of here, but the door is broken. Fine. Okay, the door finally opened. Daisy. Daisy. I can't believe this is my life. I was adopted by poor people. <laughs> Daisy, seriously, they seem really nice. And they also seem to really care about us. Who cares if we live in this thing? Molly, it's literally a tin can. I know, Daisy, but it's our tin can. With two parents who really care about us. Well, okay, I guess we can make the best of it. Great. Come on in. Girls, is everything okay? Yeah, girls, is everything okay? Yeah, Mom and Dad, we're sorry we were acting like brats, but I think we're used to more of a witch lifestyle. But we know that you care about us so much, so we're going to try our best to be good. That's the spirit. We do care about you girls so much. Now, who wants a family game night? I do! I do! Okay, um, I have to go down to the library and borrow the game. Ah, uh, yeah, I hope you, Dan. You girls get settled in, okay? And we'll come back with, like, five games for game night. You guys don't own your own games? No, we borrow them from the library. Be back in about ten minutes. Okay! Daisy, this place is really starting to grow on me. I know what you mean, Molly. Our parents are really nice. They totally are. Who's honking their horn out front? Oh my gosh! Mom? Dad? Oh my gosh! My, my memories come back! Mine too! And we're, we're rich! 
Oh my gosh, we're totally rich. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. What is going on here? Ugh, why do you smell like pizza? Um, because I ate pizza. Molly, everyone knows that all we eat is caviar. So much better for you. Well, that and organic vegetables only. But this had pepperoni on it. It was delicious. What's this crazy talk? Now, what happened? They told us you got in an accident and you were at the adoption center, but then the address for you was this food truck? Maybe that's why she smells like pizza, dear. I don't know, but she needs a shower as soon as we get home. No, uh, these nice people adopted us. Well, that's ridiculous. We're your parents. Now get in the limo. It's time to go home. Yeah, you're probably right. Come on, Daisy. Um, and since you wrecked your car, we'll stop and get you a new one on the way home. Okay, can I get a red one this time? Yeah, but we're only spending 150,000, not 175. But what if the red is 175? Okay, then, yeah, you can totally have it. Let's go, everybody. Everybody in? I'm coming, Jeepus. I forgot my puss. I still have a little bit of amnesia, I guess. See you later, weird food truck. You know, I know that I'm rich and everything, Mom, but our new parents who are poor are kind of nice. I'm sure they were honey, but come on, we have to go home. Tomorrow, Dad and I have to pack for our trip to Brazil. Are we going? No, you guys are staying home, unfortunately. Another business trip. Oh, man. Turn around! Why? Why? Ah, 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 I forgot something back in the house. T -t -t Turn around! Okay, fine, but it better be a million dollars if you want me to go back to that place. It stunk so bad. I think I saw a cockroach. It wasn't a cockroach there, Dad. Okay, let's go back. Try to get all your stuff, though. I don't ever want to drive down that street again. Make it quick, Molly. Okay, I'll make it super quick. I think. Mom! Dad! Oh, hey, Molly. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, what, what are you doing here? Um, I came back to tell you something. Oh, um, I'm glad your parents came back for you. Me too, even though we're really sad that you guys can't be our daughters. Look, you guys are so nice. You're like the nicest people ever. I'm thankful that I had this time with you. It's taught me a lot, and I want you to have this. A, a million dollars? Are you serious? Yeah, it's just a little bit of something to help you. Oh my gosh, that money could change our life. Yeah, but we're not interested in your money. Wait, what? But you guys, it'll change your life. We know, but... We weren't in this for the money. Wait a minute, you knew that we were rich? I had a feeling, but I don't care about money. I just care about the people that I love, and I'm sad that you guys can't be a part of our family. Well, but you really don't want the money? Well, your money's not everything. Okay, yeah, but it buys you some really cool clothes and, and shoes and, and, and a car that actually runs. Yeah, those are all true, but we didn't care about you just because you have money. Oh. All we have is one request. Yeah, Molly, just one. What is it? Name it! We really wish that you and Daisy would come visit us sometimes. Really? We'd love to! Great. That makes us so happy because we're really gonna miss you girls. Yeah, we could stop by, like, every Saturday if you want. We could have game night. That sounds like a great idea. Okay, well... See you later, second mom and dad. See you later, Molly. Make sure you get good grades and behave in school. Oh, dear. You're still talking like you're her dad. I am. Her second dad. <laughs> Bye, second mom. Bye, second dad. Bye. Uh, dad, the door won't open again. Oh, man. Add that to my fix-it list. I'll be dropping you off to stay at your grandpa's for the weekend. Yay, grandpa's! Sounds fun. He always feeds us lots of Oreos. I know. Oreos are delicious. All right, guys. We have arrived. Make sure you take all your belongings from the back. Um, does that include all the cookies and cupcakes and everything? Molly, did you bring treats to grandpa's house? You don't need to bring treats to grandpa's house. He already has some. I know, but sometimes it's not enough. I need more Oreos. More cookies! More cupcakes! Ay, ay, ay. Grandpa, we're here! I hope you have some milk to go with those Oreos. Hey, look! There's Grandpa in there! Grandpa! Hi! I'm so happy to see you right now! Whoa, Grandpa, are you feeling okay? Your teeth look a little creepy. Who are you guys? Um, Grandpa, are you okay? Yeah, Grandpa, we're your grandchildren. Do you not remember us? Aw, oh, look at the little dog. Wait. I don't have any grandchildren. Wait, Grandpa, when did you get a dog? Do you not remember us? He used to play baseball with us. And feed us Oreo cookies. Oh, no, he's gone senile. I don't remember no baseball games. Get out of my house. 
Grandpa, you're hurting my feelings. Marley, I think we better run because if he, if he's seen I'll, maybe he's going to get you with his pitchfork, Marley. Don't run upstairs. Just, oh my gosh, run this way, Marley. Come into the kitchen. Ooh, the kitchen. Now you're speaking my language. Dizzy, how did you get back there? Let me... Ugh. Marley, you ate too many cupcakes. You won't fit alongside the refrigerator. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just hide on this side. Does anybody see Grandpa? Alright, I don't see him. <gasps> Look, he was making lemonade. Something's definitely wrong with Grandpa. He's just standing there. Oh, no! I think he's got Santa! Wait. It, it, is that you? Yes! It's me, Grandpa! I think he recognizes me, Molly. Oh, golly. I didn't recognize you, kiddo. Come here. Sit and have some lemonade. You must be thirsty. I know I am. Okay, his cray-cray moment is over. Now he's back to normal, I guess. Grandpa? Do you need some cuckoo pills? Grandpa, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. Look at Grandpa's face. I'm going to get a close-up of it. Whoa, Grandpa, you look... <laughs> you look terrifying. All right, I guess we're supposed to take some, some lemonade. All right, younglings. Now that you guys are all settled, I have some work to do outside. Hey, I didn't get any lemonade. Would you like some help, Grandpa? No, I think I can do it myself. Plus, I think you should take a look around the house. After all, you should know where everything is if you're staying here for a few days. Um, Grandpa, this isn't our first time here, but... Okay, we'll look around. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Hi. That dog is so adorable. When did Grandpa get a dog, though? Oh, look at Here's a picture of our beautiful grandmother. Why she was wearing hair curlers on the day of her... Um, her photo being taken? I'll never know, but, you know, whatever. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, don't break the bed. It's all we have to sleep on. Oh, sorry. Okay, I can turn the lights off and on. Daisy, look at this. Boing, boing. Yeah, Molly, you're a troublemaker. What do you want me to say about it? Did you guys just hear that? Hear what? Did Grandpa fall asleep? Is he snoring in his chair? No, Molly, Grandpa's outside working. Duh, remember we said that. Oh, maybe it's the sound of his chainsaw then or something. Grandpa, are you okay? He sounded like he came off over, from over there. Maybe in the bar. Well, let's go inside and see. Where is all the other grandkids? Yeah, it seems like there was a lot more of us at one point. Well, must be they got homesick and went home or something. G -g -g Grandpa? Grandpa! Oh my gosh, I knew he was acting weird. Grandpa, are you okay? Marley, why are you hiding behind me? I don't know, it just scared me, I guess. Grandpa, Grandpa, are you okay? Just a little scratch, nothing too serious. Hey, would you go grab me my first aid kit? It's somewhere around here in the shed. I forgot where, though. Well, it's no surprise you forgot where. You are a little senile these days. Marley, I got the first aid kit, it's okay. Here, Grandpa. I hope this helps. Yeah, me too. Thanks for getting that for me. No problemo! Um, can we have something to eat now? I'm starving. Molly, wait. It's not time to have a snack yet. It's always time to have a snack if you're me. Hey, can you guys fix up the tractor? I pretty much did a good portion of the work. There are a few parts laying around, and once those are placed in, the tractor should be good as new. Sure! Just go inside and get some rest, Grandpa. We'll fix your tractor up in no time. You guys are the best, thanks. <clears throat> Ew, Grandpa fought it on the way out. Well, he's old. What do you want me to say? Oh, you got the engine before me. Okay, fine. Is there any other pieces that we need? I was trying to get the engine, but the other better grandchild took it before I did. Well, that's the last part on. Let's see if we can get this thing up and running. Grandpa's going to be so proud of us. Yeah. If he's awake long enough to say good job. Oh, speaking of being awake, huh, that was a lot of work. I think I want to go to bed. Yeah, me too. Let's make our way up to our room. Oh, look at all these toys. This looks so much fun. All right, let's go. Let's look in the toy box. Molly, it's not time for fun and games. It's time to go to bed. Even you said you were tired.
Did you guys hear that? I'm like, guacamole, what was that? The whole room shook. All right, let's get out of here. This place is creepy. Sounds like it came from down the hallway. Grandpa, Grandpa! I got you guys. <laughs> oh no, here he goes with one of his senile episodes again. Um, Molly, I don't know if it's that or if he's just really trying to get us. Huh, what? What? Whoa! Guys, what just happened? I told you, Grandpa's gone senile! He's gray gray! I don't, I don't know. I, I don't remember anything. Why are we in the barn? All I can think is, Grandpa went crazy. He said, I got you guys. And then he threw us out here in the barn. I don't know, but Grandpa's gone mad. We should find a way to get out of this barn. Yeah, Grandpa definitely has gone mad. I remember Grandpa telling me that he had a certain key that could unlock the barn doors. I just don't remember where it is. Well, when you guys find it, let me know. I'll be up here taking a nap. Molly, you're going to help us find it, duh. Okay, I'll help you find it. Picky, picky. Never mind, I found it. Good job, Forrest Gump. I mean, Forrest Bump. <laughs> Great, now let's get out of here. What if Grandpa's outside there, guys? We haven't thought about that. And I'm right. He's got a flamethrower. You guys thought you could escape that easy. Let me make it harder for you. Grandpa, just calm down. You need to take some medicine. You're going crazy. Um, we need to get out of here. He just set the barn on fire. Any ideas on how to get out? Um, what do you guys think? I don't know, Molly. You come up with an idea. Okay, let's climb out that window. Come on. Molly, hurry before the whole place explodes. Um, I'm stuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to die. Not today. Oh, thank goodness. All right, this looks like an obby, guys. Um, we can do this. Correction, Molly. You always spend these obbies. And then you'll have to spend all of your money trying to survive. Well, it's just because it's timed. It makes me so nervous. Ah! That pitchfork is sharp. Grandpa set up quite the obby booby trap. He sure did. It's kind of rude, actually. Oh, God! I knew it! I knew this was going to happen! Here we go, guys. 25 Robux of Molly's just gone. Gone, gone, gone. Well, wait a minute. It doesn't take you to the end, guys. Oh, no. That's bad. Wait a minute. Shouldn't it? I, I respond, shouldn't it? Take me to the end? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh! Okay, it says complete the obby. All right, I'm just going to respawn right here. I don't know why it didn't respawn me where it was supposed to, but whatever. Molly, at least you you had enough Robux to survive. Wait, quick, run to the cornfield! Well, we can lose him there! I'm like literally plowing into every single car. Oh my god. Oh, Daisy, I don't like this. Molly, just try to avoid the cars. I'm trying, but oh my gosh, there's so many of them. What? I, I got hit by a car? 75 Robux. I can see all of my money dwindling as we speak. I started with like 400 Robux, and now I'm like poor. Oh, look at Daisy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks funny. All right, let's go through the cornfield. Come on. I think we lost him. Jeez, I never thought my grandpa would go so crazy. Where do you guys think we go from here? And have you guys also noticed... We're down to only three grandkids left. I don't know, but we have to get out of here somehow. Let's try to find a way out. Whoa, that was dramatic. Holy guacamole, Daisy. All right, we have 88 seconds to escape. Daisy, I think we should go this way. All right, no one believes me. Whatever. You guys go that way. Yeah, you go that way, Molly, and spend all your Robux. Go ahead. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, crud. No, Daisy, that's a dead end over there. And that's a dead end. Oh, God, I don't know how to get out of here. We're stuck forever! Molly, quit singing songs. We have to try to hurry. We only have 60 seconds. And you're running low on Robux. Yeah, she's got a point. But, guys, I'm wearing my Power of the Unicorn shirt, so everything should be fine. Come on, guys, say it with me. Power of the Unicorn with their sparkly horn. And that should help us get out of here. See? Works every time. Wait, is this where we came in? No, Molly, we definitely made it out. Forrest Bump! You made it too! I'm so happy about that. Get in! I can give you a lift! Oh, Packstabber's tax service. Tax services? No, Molly, not tax services! 
taxi services. You guys look shaken up. Let's get you back home. <laughs> Are you sure you don't do taxes while you drive us? Oh, we got the good ending. Net, net, net. That's awesome. All right, who wants to see the bad ending? Let us know in the um, comment section below, and we'll play again. Okay, guys? We'll see you next time. Bye! Maddie, what are you doing? What's it look like? I'm doing my homework. And you're also eating a cookie on my bed. You're going to get crumbs on my sheets. Exactly. That's why I'm eating on your bed. Because if I eat on my bed, then I'll be rolling around on chocolate chips all night. But I'll be... Oh, never mind. Just get out of my bed, please. But I have to finish my homework. And this delicious cookie. Molly, it's time for bed. Get out of my bed right now. Jeepers creepers. I thought you'd be happy I was actually doing my homework. Molly, I will never understand you. Okay, it's time to turn out the light now, Molly. If you didn't finish your homework, then I guess you just didn't finish it. I know, but this algebra is hard. Remember when we were in kindergarten and we just had to do one plus one? Oh, I miss those days. Yeah, well, get with the times, Molly. Get with the times. All right, Daisy. All right, I'll turn off the light. I know you need your beauty rest. I mean, I don't want you to wake up ugly. Molly, I could never be ugly. <laughs> I'm not even tired yet. What am I going to do? You're going to be quiet, Molly, so the rest of us can sleep. Maybe I'll count sheep. One, two, three, four. Count them in your head, Molly. You're too loud. Just close your eyes, Molly, and think about something that you love. That will help you fall asleep super fast. <sighs> I love science. <sighs> Cookies. Cupcakes. <sighs> Chocolate. find my phone. I keep hearing my phone ring, but I can't find it. Maybe it's in the couch cushions or something. No, I don't see it over there. Wow, it's dark down here. Whoa. What was that flash of light? That was... <gasps> ah! What was that over there in the kitchen? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was so creepy. Ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. There was a ghost in my house. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Daisy! Daisy, wake up, wake up, wake up! What is your problem, Molly? Why are you yelling? Daisy, there was a ghost in the kitchen. And my phone, it was ringing right at 3 o'clock in the morning. Molly, what are you talking about? My phone, it was in my room, and then I went downstairs and... Molly, go back to bed. You're, 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 you're hearing things. Okay, fine. Ugh. Whoa, it's really bright in here. It must be thunder and lightning outside or something. What? Why is my phone ringing again? What time is it? Oh, 3 a.m.? It was just 3 a.m. when I woke up like an hour ago. What is going on around here? And where is my phone? I keep hearing it ring, but I can't find it anywhere. Oh, it's probably downstairs. And, and I hope that ghost isn't down there again. Ah! Oh my god! There's the ghost! Ah! The ghost is calling me at 3 a.m.! Oh my god, she's standing right behind me, isn't she? Why is there a ghost in my house? This house was never haunted before! And my phone, it keeps ringing! Wait, is that my phone on the counter? Hello? Hello? Dumb phone, it's not even working! What's wrong with this thing? It keeps dialing at 3 a.m. Oh my gosh, I bet it's the ghost doing it! I've gotta go tell Daisy! Maybe this time she'll believe me. Daisy, 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 the ghost came back and my phone, it was ringing and it said it was 3 a.m. again. Molly, are your eyes closed? Uh, yeah. You're sleepwalking. Go back to bed. Okay, I'll go back to bed. I'm pretty sure I'm not sleepwalking, though. I, I'm pretty sure this is a real life thing. Okay, Molly, just try to go back to sleep. Maybe this is just a horrible nightmare. Oh, 
Okay, I've about had it with my phone ringing over and over again. What does this ghost want? It obviously wants my soul! Well, you can't have it, ghost. And guess what? You need to get out of my house! Get out of my house! Did it work? What was that? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, she's creepy. Okay, never mind. You can have my house. It's all yours. Daisy, good luck with that ghost and everything. Hmm, where's Molly? She couldn't have left for school already. I'm so much more responsible than she is. Molly? What are you doing sleeping outside? It's freezing out here. Oh, what? Oh. I came out here because the ghost took over the, the house and my phone kept ringing at 3 a.m. and I just needed some sleep. But I'm never going back in that house again. <laughs> Got you. Got me? What are you talking about? Pranks on you this time, Molly. What? This was all a prank? Yeah, I kept turning the alarm clock back to 3 a.m. and then calling your phone under my blanket. This is to get you back for all the times you've pranked me. Me? Prank you? I never pranked you. Oh, yeah, right. They say it's your birthday! Do 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 do! Happy birthday to ya! Daisy, wake up! It's your birthday! What? It's my birthday? Yep, and there's balloons and cake and presents! And also a trip to Disneyland because you're so amazing! I can't believe it's my birthday! Yay! Um, yeah, that's the thing. It's not your birthday. What? Oh, but there's balloons. No, I've popped them all. What? What? Why did you tell? Why did you pop on my birthday balloons? Because it's not really your birthday. <laughs> that was the best prank ever. <laughs> but, but, but Daisy, that was funny. This was not funny. Oh, really? I thought it was hilarious. And this isn't the only prank you've played on me. You're pretty bad, sister. Whoa, it's lightning out right now. Yeah, let's get back to the subject at hand. Quit trying to change the subject. I'm not a bad sister. I'm a great sister. Well, what about the time you pranked me when... Daisy, what are you doing? Finishing up my science project with my teammates for school. I have to just write out this last sentence and it's done. Daisy, that's all you do anymore. Science, science, science. My homework and schoolwork is extremely important to me. Unlike you, Molly. You know what I think of your homework? This. Molly! Why are you spraying my homework? That's my science project! It's worth everything! Molly, stop it! Stop spraying! You're, Molly, you're gonna ruin the computer! Oh my gosh, you're a terrible sister! Um, well, uh, okay, that prank was a little bit much. You think? So, it was payback time. Alright, well, um, can we talk about this in the house? I'm freezing. Sure, Molly. Can't believe you slept out here. Well, it was better than sleeping inside with that craziness going on. Um, yeah, Molly. Um, what did you say about a ghost? Yeah, how did you do that? I mean, seriously, how did you prank me with the ghost? I didn't. Yeah, right. You must have went to Spirit Halloween and bought something there, huh? You even got it on clearance because it's not Halloween anymore. Molly, I'm serious. I couldn't prank a ghost. Well, I know what I saw. You didn't actually see a ghost, Molly. I, I did. I, I swear it. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, Molly. What was that? It was the 3 a.m. ghost. Ah! There she is. Ah! 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 There she is again. I'm moving. I'm out of here. Burn down the house. I couldn't agree more, Molly. This is crazy.
This is the perfect day, right, Daisy? Yeah, Marty, it really is. Um, if I never had to go to daycare again and Mom could just watch us all day, it would be the perfect day. Well, girls, I'm really sorry, but I actually have to go to work this afternoon. What? No, I don't want you to have to go to work. That's not fair. <laughs> Okay, daycare is really nice. No, daycare is not nice. <laughs> oh, Molly, I think you'll love daycare. You have the other times you've gone. No, there's a really rude daycare employee, and she's just, ugh, she's so annoying. She makes me sit on the potty. Yes, yeah, she t body training us. I don't like it. <laughs> Molly, you're such a crybaby. It's starting to really annoy me. Ugh, I'm getting super tired. I need to go to the bathroom. I'm thirsty. Oh, I'm the crybaby? It's okay. Come on, girls. We'll go to daycare, and I'll make sure that you can go potty and have a drink, and then I'll be t going off to work. What? No, I don't want you to go after work. Mom, wait! Come on, Molly. You're such a slow poke. Mom, my legs are like 20 times shorter than yours. Okay, look both ways. Are you okay? Mom, your instructions were terrible. Stop, go, stay, go. Sorry, I just panicked a little bit. I noticed. Hey, put me down. I'm with my mommy. Stop it. Okay, Molly. Okay, it's fine. It's just another caregiver. Whoa, they've got a unicorn pony in, in the um horse pen right now. Well, maybe your teacher will take you over to see it. Nah, we never do anything fun. Girls, come on now. I'm sure you do some things that are fun. No, it's terrible. I hate going to daycare. Oh, Marty, you're such a crybaby. I need a drink. I have to have a good party. I don't feel good. Again, I say who's a crybaby? It's definitely Daisy. Hey, Mario. Oh, hello, Molly. It's nice to see you. You too. If we have to be at daycare, at least you're here. I'm gonna go play with some toys. Whoa, who are you? Oh, that's our new student, Luke. Luke? Oh, wow, he is super cute. <laughs> I like him so much. A whole lot, actually. He's adorable. Hey, wait, come back with him. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there you are, hi. Hi, I'm Luke. I'm Molly. You're cute. You're cute too. Aww. You wanna be my friend? Um, yeah. <laughs> wait, put me down. I'm hanging out with my new friend, Lou. Oh, you're so annoying. Here, just wiggle. There, see, they can't hold on to you. I have to go boo boo. Oh, Daisy, just go to the potty already. Goodness. Hey, put my new boyfriend down. Boyfriend? I thought we were just friends. Me thirsty. Here you go, it's okay, just drink your bottle. Oh, good baby. Look, we're getting carried somewhere. Where do you think we're going? It looks like we're gonna go to the beach. This looks like fun. I was already at the beach this morning. I'd rather hang out with Luke though, so I guess I'm gonna go wherever he goes. Look, where are you gonna go? Let's go over here. Okay, are we supposed to go this far away though from the caregivers? I don't know, but they're kind of annoying. Let's just go spend time over here, together. Oh, are we gonna make a sand castle together? OMG, I think I'm in love. OMG, I think I'm in love. Uh, Luke, did you just hear me singing that? No, why, what were you singing? Uh, nothing, it's kind of embarrassing. Look, I got a rubber ducky. I kind of want you to have it, though. Really? Why? Because, um, uh, uh, I like you. What? You, you like me? Seriously, you do? Yeah, you're really cute and you seem really nice. Well, we've only known each other for five minutes, but I love you! <laughs> Wait, you love me? Oh, uh, I, I don't know about that. I don't know if I like girls anymore. Bye! Wait, what? What just happened?
happened? He doesn't like me? I want my mommy. Whee! I love this unicorn. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Hey, put me down. Whee! I need to talk to my sister. Stop it. I need to talk to my sister. Daisy, that Luke boy. I, I, I need to talk to you. Oh, yeah. Luke, who's that? Oh, sweet little baby. You're crying a lot. You might need a nap. You might need a nap, lady. And, 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 and a bottle, too. Whoa, Molly, you're going to be in time out. <gasps> Who's that? He's adorable. You mean Luke? No, he's not adorable at all. He's rude, and I don't like him. Molly, I think he's handsome. No, no you don't. Take that back. No, I really like him. S stop, stop, stop saying that. Stop it right now. Oh, boy, I'm getting kind of tired. But nothing could keep me away from my new crush. You're not allowed to have a crush on Luke. I do, though. Hi, I'm Luke. What's your name? My name's Daisy. Why are you so sad? I'm not sure I really like to spend time with girls. There was this girl, she said she loved me, and I'd only known her for five minutes. Ah, oh, this horse is putting its bum bum on me. I need to go potty, but I'd rather pee pee in my pants than to miss this. Oh no, there's the girl. Oh, that's just my annoying sister. Don't pay attention to her. Now, what were you saying? You're dreamy. What? No! You two can't fall in love. It's not fair. I want to love Luke. I, I was right. Girls are crazy. Both of you. Ah! What did I say? He's just a boy. Boys are weird sometimes. I think so too. Wait, not really. But why, why did he think you were so crazy? Because I sort of fell in love with him. I had a baby crush on him. Oh, yeah, but if you only know him for five minutes, how'd you know? I don't know, I just did, okay? Why's everybody got to question me? Well, because, Molly, that doesn't make much sense. It does make sense! When you love somebody, you love them! Well, he obviously doesn't love you back, so your heart just needs to be broken. Really? Ah, but right now, what I really need to do is go poo-poo! Oh, I waited too long and now I'm throwing up! Oh. Ew, Molly, I'm taking a nap! Don't throw up on me! Too late! Ah, you threw up on me! Stop it! Oh, ew, it's gross! Ah. Oh, I can't stop throwing up on you, Daisy! Oh, oh, oh. Ew, I want my body! <laughs> I feel better now. I thought I felt better, but no, I don't. <laughs> oh, you're what's called lovesick, Molly. Really? You can get sick? Yeah, if love breaks your heart, you definitely can. Oh, man. Ugh.